in this week's seasonal talk, I'm going to be talking about the shows Don's Iberia No Prime Egg and Devil Survivor 2, the animation, episode 3 of both shows. So I'm going to start off with Don's Iberia No Prime Egg, and I'm going to say this was this was a good episode. This was actually a good episode of Don's Iberia No Prime Egg. I enjoyed it because, you know, it had action in it. I liked the action that was going on with the show, and really it was just, it's, it's basically scissors spacing off against Sledgehammer. And scissors win, son. I was like, oh, snaps. And like, freaking Kiri is like, I gotta get them all. He's like, scissors. Uh, scissors. Uh, uh, uh. And then the guy who's facing against, man, that sucker was Triple H, man. That guy was Triple H. He had sledgehammer and he was like, time to play the game. So he's getting trapped sledgehammer and he's, he's smashing things and everything. And he's like, going ham and stuff. It was, it was freaking crazy, man. So at the end of the day, he ended up defeating him. He's like, you better leave, son. I'll cut your tendons, son. You ain't you, you gonna have no kids no more. You, your balls are gonna go. I'm like, like, oh, dang. He didn't say all that. But, he was like, get out of here, son. Get get out of here. I, I'll do my thing. I'm like, all right, then. Because Kiri right there just showed how beast he is. You know, I, I, I like that. I, I like I like what's going on with this um episode here. You know, a little extra mode when it came to Iowa and Kiri and crap like that. Because I was basically almost like, I think she's like making this the almost entire episode, really. Because she took a bath. And that's when Triple H is like, time to the game. And she's like, ah, ah, ah. And, that's when freaking Kiri had to come up in there and then try to, you know, protect her. And she's just there, you know what I mean? But she was, he was like, hold on to her and everything because she was all scared and crap. So, like I said, it was, it was interesting. And, her, and we actually see how her heart just grows back, too. Just, it's weird. It just, man, just grows all the way back. Like, okay, then. All right, then. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, he, he's, he's gotten, he's got power. He's gotten powerful. I like to say that because he has to, he's able to dodge these attacks and stuff like that. So, it's, it's going to be very interesting. This show's going to be very interesting. So, I'm looking forward to more, like, fights and stuff like that. And more of a struggle for Kiri as well. And I just, I just wonder what those sisters are going to do. You know what I mean? Because they, they, they are they actually still going to attack? I, I mean, I, I know they want to. But like I said, they, they didn't actually um, interfere in this episode. Is a thing. So I was like, oh, okay. Because Sledgehammer's tri Triple H is coming in. So like I guess they just didn't bother with that. I mean, I don't know. I wonder when when they're going to make their make their move exactly. So I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. So now let's go into Devil Survivor 2, the animation, episode 3. And I'll also say this was also a good episode as well. Though the problem with this episode, though, is that they introduced a character. And then the character that got introduced is, is, is dead in, within this episode. It's like... It's like, you don't really know much about the character in Odyssey 2. I didn't really like the character because the way he just he was acting. I, I, I'm like... I, I, what is his name? What is his name? I, I wrote it on paper because it's like this guy. I, I don't understand how he just get killed. His name is Keta. His name is Keta. And we like, it's like he's like just kind of a stuck up person, stuck up little kid and everything. He's like, don't get in my way. I'm going to do my thing. I'm going to be alone. I'm gonna do this. You know, he's all beast and everything. And then at the end of the episode, he ends up getting killed, saving the main character. And I'm like, and he couldn't avoid his destiny because they showed on the phone that he was going to die. Um, soon and stuff so they try to avoid it but apparently they couldn't do anything so yeah that's what he's dead and then i find it interesting with this episode though when it came to this other monsters other beast whatever this thing was because it was controlling um kano it was controlling kano and you know kano actually broke through the defense walls of of the the sin the sin tenkaku the, the soccer sin tenkaku kind of defense um thing and it, it just took she took it all the way down like it just they the thing is what makes this episode like god dang like come on you guys couldn't even do anything like they were there they're trying to prevent this from happening but at the end of the day they, they succeed the bad guys succeed in this so I mean I actually kind of like that because you know I, you always see the good guys always end up winning after the nigga in the moment and stuff like that and that we thought that happened but no the guy came back it's like you guys are celebrating too fast and. Bam, he ends up breaking this higher wall, and that's when all the freaking monsters are coming in and stuff. And I think it was from Tokyo or something like that. Or it was Shinjuku. Shinjuku. But the whole point is there's monsters coming in now because there is no magical barrier stopping these um, monsters to come in. So I'm like, oh, snap, son. Oh, snap. So now there's going to be a lot of more battles going on. Hopefully, I am really freaking hoping. What's, what, man, what's his name? I'm really hoping that Daichi... Can get can get some like better monsters because he he he's he sucks he he's horrible like his his monsters just don't do nothing they, they I, like come on they're like the little babies they can't, they can't even do anything it's just, it doesn't make sense they, I guess they're not combat they're not they're not for combat I'm guessing like, I mean, that's the, that's the only thing maybe he's not gonna be a person that's for combat because he literally can't really do anything to help his friends out at all I mean seriously I mean they're like freaking what's her name freaking uh, I think yeah Nita. Yeah, Nita, she has a better freaking um, monster than, than he does. I'm like, come on, man. Get, some, get, get, your, get your game going. Get your game up. Step the game up. <laughs> so, 
like I said, it's, like I said, it was, it was some good stuff. I do like I do like these episodes though. It, um, when it comes to Don Zaburno Crime Edge, the you know plot's finally there. He understands his weapon is a killing good. Like he he understands the full extent of this and. You know her art hitting that he's Arthur and, and she's the instead and stuff like that. He, like, he understands all this better now. So we're like I said, we're gonna start seeing better fight, like, better fights, more of a struggle. You know th things are about to go down. That's all I can say. Things are about to go down for Don's Up Bruno Crime Edge when it comes to Devil Survivor Two. The animation, like I said, it's just we see the setup. You know we see the setup of what's going on. We want, we want, we're wondering who is that monster exactly? Uh, what, like how, like why did why did Connor get control? Like what what was going on with all that? Like. Who, who, like, we know this monster's here, but who controls that monster? Unless he, unless he's, well, he seems like he has his own mind. But who is he working for? You know what I mean? I mean, he can't be just doing this for his own agenda. I mean, who is he really working for? So, I mean, like I said, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. And, and this group still is suspicious, I'll have to say, that, that, um, he, he's working with. So, I, I'm just saying. So, it's just, this, all this stuff is really co coming together. So, I'm looking forward to seeing more of these shows here. So, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think of Don's Alberta Crime Egg and De um, Devil Survivor 2, the animation. Episode three, so yeah, leave a comment below. What you think? Like, like this review or no, it's not a review. It's not a review. It's a talk. I'm just talking. I'm just talking to you guys. Want to discuss these shows with you guys here? That's why I'm doing this for. So, hope you guys like the discussion. That's how I need to say. Like, hope you guys like the discussion and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more seasonal talk from the Breakmaster. So yeah, it's been the Breakmaster, and until then, people, break out.